Hey everyone, I am now going to show you the a new update for the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, which recently rolled out, which is the Marshmallow update. As you can see, I'm using the model number SMG925i, and I'm going to show you quickly on this, in the software info that I am officially using the Android Marshmallow update, which is 6.0.1. So if you try to tap on that, it will show you the icon and a cute pretty animation if you try to tap on that too. Press and hold it will prompt you to the game which is pretty similar to the highly popular game uh, Flappy Bird and apparently I am not good at this. So oops. Okay going back there isn't much difference with the design of the interface compared to the previous version of the TouchWiz. And I'm going to show you a neat feature which they got from the Marshmallow update, um, which you can find in the privacy and safety section of your settings, the app permission. Now you can manually um, choose which apps could access some of the components of your phone, like your contacts, a camera, a calendar, uh, whatsoever. So yeah. And also the new battery improved uh, saving feature of the Marshmallow update. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you the edge panel, the new improved edge panel. Now you can see there is a new column added and if you go to the settings you can now download, you can download and reorder the edge panels you selected. And there's a lot of panels to choose from. You can select everything. So now you can position the panels from your right side to your left side, but I prefer it on my right side. And also the size, I prefer medium. And also the transparency of course. Now you can also change the position of the panel from topmost or at the bottom. And there you go. As you can see that Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, I mean Samsung rather, is trying to um, is trying to take advantage of the potential of the panel feature. And the dominant colors now with the drop down box is color blue and white, which looks pretty neat. And I'm going to show you quickly um, a cute animation with the intro, just to show you some of the changes they made with the Marshmallow update. And there you go. But if you ask me, I think I prefer the animation of the previous version. Just saying. It still takes quite a while, but that's okay. And also, now it's more convenient to access the Google Now just by pressing and holding the home button. There you go. So I'm just going to play around shortly with my phone so you can see um, what to expect with the Marshmallow update. 